Well, hello, people. Welcome to um, Laytown train station here in County Mead. And um, as you can see, it's a Saturday here in the month of September, and it's um, a fantastic day. I'm in my t-shirt here, and we're after having a fantastic week, uh, Mediterranean-style weather. At one day during the week there, it was 27 degrees Celsius, and we're not able for that kind of you know temperatures here my friends but anyway we're 27 degrees and um it's the change tomorrow back to normal temperatures uh, of 16 to 18 degrees centigrade and we have rain showers coming okay so i'm going up up to dublin today and you're all fairly welcome to join me and uh so what my intention today is to go to dublin of course have my dinner and my tea and then i'm thinking of making my way over to um St. Stephen's Green and hopping on the Lewis line there and going out as far as Milltown and following the Dodder River back in towards Dublin City. So that's my intentions, right? So stay tuned, my friends, and see what happens. See, uh, can I walk all the way along the Dodder River back into the city, okay? Welcome to Dublin Connolly Station here. Normally there's a Lewis right in here, so I'm going to go over to Bus Airman over here and get a Lewis line down as far as Henry Street. I come on, but I just feel a bit lazy, you know, and, and I'm, I'm hungry. So let's go. People, that was fast, wasn't it? From the Lewis line here, and um, out to Henry Street. Was so I going into this building here, Jervis Shopping Centre? Into Kay's, I'm going to get um, some chicken sandwich and a bowl of uh, chicken soup or something, right? And of course, a pot of tea, my friends. And you know something? On the risk of sounding misogynistic, right? There are serious women here today. Sexy, 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 my friends.
Well, people, I'm going for the um, the healthy option today. I got a chicken salad sandwich and a bowl of cream vegetable soup and of course my usual pot of tea here in Kay's in Jervis shopping centre on Henry Street here. So this is the bowl of soup. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And there of course my pot of tea and my toasted chicken salad sandwich which consists of plain chicken, lettuce, tomato and sweet corn. Pretty cool, huh? Let me taste one of these sandwiches. Mm. Very nice, my friends, very nice. See, um, see the shop here, look. We make food porn. I wonder did he do threesomes? Food porn threesomes there. <laughs> Love a good threesome, my friends. <laughs> so, I'm on Capel Street here, and I'm going across over the Liffey now to the south side, right? Um, yeah, so, this street now, they've turned it into a pedestrian street. Oh, it's very, very warm. But I'm not complaining because tomorrow it's going to all change, my friends. It's going to all change. You know, so many people, I keep meaning to do this um, thing here, the tea bus. You're late for tea. Um, brings you around Dublin on a double decker bus and yeah. And you serve, you serve your tea and I presume buns or whatever, right? But I love to do it. <laughs> See you there, look. Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely going to do that, my friends. The vintage bus for tea, right? And a VIP seat, which is upstairs on it, on the upper deck, right at the very front, is 54 euros. Yeah. Right, so uh, you might think that's mad for a cup of tea, but... Um, I'm gonna do it, my friends. I'm gonna do it. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Be sometime in the future, okay? So this area here in Temple Bar is called uh, Meeting House Square. And as you can see, there's a, a guy there singing. And look, there's a, a theatre over there, you know, you can play here. I was actually in here one time and there was a woman up in the balcony there singing opera. Cool, isn't it? So this is another place here in Temple Bar that I must visit. It's the Irish Rock and Roll Museum experience. So, um, you know, you'll have all the U2, Rory Gallagher, Tin Lizzy, the Cranberries, uh, Sinead O'Connor, um, all in here, you see. And there's good old Phil in it, uh, Tin Lizzy. The, I seen him, but not in Tin Lizzy, I seen him after Tin Lizzy in a band called Grand Slam. You could say Tin Lizzy Part 2, right? And I have to say, I've seen loads of bands, oh, loads of them, right? Top bands in the world. And to this day, I still would regard Phil Linnett as the most charismatic rock star I've ever seen in my entire life. Imagine that, my friends. Look at this here, Rebert here, and there's a, a barber shop there as well. Cool. So you can get coffee, sandwiches, iced coffee, cakes, ice cream, drinks and smoothies in here. And there's the pictures of the Wall of Fame Dublin. So you've got U2, Rory Gallagher on the top there, Sinead, Van Morrison, Bob Geld of the Boomtown Rats, Christy Moore, Luke Kelly, Phil Linnett, 
and over there is I forget his name um, Cool. Um, so there's there's a shop there. It's a tattoo shop in Temple Bar here. What's to say there? Be somebody get tattooed. I think that's a terrible thing to say. You know, to if, if you don't have a tattoo, you're not a somebody, right? Now personally, I I I'll never t get a tattoo. I'm just too boring to get a tattoo. And I'm nothing against people with tattoos. There's some fantastic tattoos, and there's some ugly tattoos, right? But here's the thing about tattoos, right? You know the people that have these fantastic tattoos on their back? The whole back is covered in a tattoo, right? I seen one of a guy with this, this, this fantastic wolf on his back, right? And I'm thinking to myself, like, what's all that about? Now they'll say, why does it matter? I, I can do what I want. And they can, right? They can, right? But I'm saying this, what do they do when they go home? Do they have two mirrors in their bedroom or something? where they, they go in and they look in one mirror to see the tattoo on the back and go, oh, look at my tattoo, it's not fantastic. You know what I mean? Do you get my point? Um, so I, I kind of often wonder, is it a kind of an ego thing for like to go around on a day like a day with no t-shirt on you and let everybody see the big wolf tattoo on your back? Because you can't see it, you know what I mean? You need two mirrors to see the tattoo on your back. Anyway, don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me, my friends. I've seen, yeah, and I've seen, I've seen a woman, and um, she had a fantastic tattoo, right? And it was um, all across here, and it was swallows flying. So there were swallows flying this way and f swallows flying that way, and it was just class, I have to say. See this building here? This building used to be the central bank. It's moved down now to um, the Docklands area. But I think this now is a whole big exclusive condominiums or apartment complex for the rich, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think this here is called Dame Street here. I could be wrong on that. Dublin Castle is just, just down there. Now I'm going to cross over here now. So here's a pub here called uh, The Bankers, right? But um, <laughs> I don't know how, how expensive that is inside, but if that pub was in Temple Bar there, I would call them The Wankers. You know why? Because they rip off the tourists that come here. 10 euros for a pint. Not a chance, my friends, not a chance. I don't need a pint, I need a cup of tea. So this is the Molly Malone statue here, and it's supposed to be good luck to rubber breasts here, look. So I think I'll rubber breasts, will I? They're definitely not implants anyway. I think they're brass. So I'm now on Grafton Street here. You'll always get loads of buskers on here. And some of them are actually fantastic. Great singers, you know? See that man there that I just showed you there, that tall man there, right? You'll see him most, most Saturdays up here in Dublin. And he just stands there and he stands for hours and he holds up, he doesn't say anything. He just holds up this um, picture thing, uh, or sign, sorry, holds up this sign that just says Jesus, right? 
That's what he does. I'm mad, my friends, mad. More musicians here, look. So if you're looking for a, a cup of coffee here in Dublin, uh, Beulie's here. Uh, it's, it's a real famous place on Grafton Street for coffee. But there's always queues, there's always queues in there. It's a real famous spot for coffee, you know? It's so great to see the musicians, isn't it? Because I can't sing for shit, and I had a guitar for a couple of years, and all I could play, and I could play it badly, was Come on everybody, do, 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 do. That's all I could play on the guitar. I, I've, 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 a, I've a nephew, and he is a genius on the guitar. I mean a genius. And I have a niece who is another genius. She can play the, the violin, she can play the piano, she can play the guitar. They're gifted, my friends, gifted. Love to see it, love to see it. <laughs> Speaking of tattoos, my friends. There you go. I call them the Jesus Freaks, right? No. The Lord Jesus, right? Okay. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. I, I won't. I'll stop because... I'll just stop, my friends. <laughs> I wonder will I make this lose? Probably not, my friends, but I'll try. Ah, uh, didn't make it. Or am I gonna make it? Thanks. Have a nice day. Hi, yeah, <clears throat> right, people. Welcome to Milltown here, in South Dublin, on the Lewis Line. And um, I just have to cross the track here and walk down the hill and get to the Dodder River and try and walk all the way back into the RDS. So let's do that, my friends, let's do that.
Right people, so here is the Dodwell River just beside me here. And this river originates in County Wicklow. Um, I'll put up how long it is, not that long really. But it originates on um, Mount Kippur in the Wicklow Mountains. As little small streams and then turns into this, this river here, the Dodder, and um, it goes into the Liffey at Grand Canal Dock. Now, I'll see if I'm able to walk all the way to Grand Canal Dock along this river here. But anyway, let's start this walk, my friends. I don't know what you call this Viaduct Bridge here, whether it's called Milltown Viaduct Bridge. I don't know when it was built. Um, there's the river down there. Yeah, so I'm on the south side of Dublin now. Uh, as I said, you got off at Milltown Station there. And I think I'll be walking along the river here in a north, northeast direction, right? So yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Niagara Falls. Look at these apartments here. I wonder how much are the people paying to live here or uh, on mortgages or rent. Um, because it's on the south side here, it'll be, it will be fairly expensive, I have to say. See them all here. Pretty cool, my friends, pretty cool. And over there, over there is the American Falls. Joking, my friends, joking. If you get a chance, people, to go to Canada, Toronto, go and see Niagara Falls, are just fantastic and the American Falls, that whole area there where Niagara Falls is the noise of the water rushing over is just brilliant oh here's a stone bridge here now I didn't bring my camera with me right but wouldn't that make a lovely picture it's the stone bridge, the double arch and you see the terrace two story houses across the way there looks lovely doesn't it? gorgeous What do you think? Lovely, aren't they? You might say they're plain, but I just think they're gorgeous. The way they're all white, the big long windows on them, and um, terrace two-storey houses. It's very, very nice. be a lovely tree to sit under in the shade from the sun read a book or have a picnic with friends be great wouldn't it I think there's another lovely touch when people pass on uh, I don't know whether it's the families that buy the benches right but it's a bench you can sit on right and so it just says here in in love and memory of Morris and Mary Pooch is a P-U-E-C-H who enjoyed the walk in here you know I think that's such a cool thing to do, isn't it? Like, you know, keep the memory of the people alive if you want, you know what I mean? But I think it's super cool. Wow, look at this.
I know I keep saying it, but there definitely is something soothing about <clears throat> the noise of water, isn't there? Really is. It's very, very chilling, very, very relaxing. I hear the boards here as well. Oh, this is just great. Great. Keep on walking along here, my friends. That's uh, my 05 Porsche Carrera when I leave it up here on my Dublin residence, you know. <laughs> cool, you see the half door there, yeah? Deadly, isn't it? <laughs> you know, we can keep one half of it closed the top half of it open, so you have children they can't get out onto the street and lets the air into the house. Super cool. Look at this. Isn't this just great, isn't it, my friends? Just great. Bit slippery just here now. Super cool. One of my favourite words, my friends, super cool. I will keep going. So there's no footpath down in the river, just here. So I'll just keep going because we're supposed to be able to walk all the way into Balls Bridge for sure along here, along this river. So I'll just keep walking. Over there, that house, the yellow and the blue, super cool. So across the road here is obviously Dunleybrook uh, bus station or bus park. When you park there, buses. You know what I mean? Huge, big, big place. Loads of buses in there at the back. So it's just saying that this is the Anglesey, Anglesey Bridge, built in 1832. Yeah, so this is the Anglesey Road area of Dublin. This is what I call the Haughty Totty area. This is where money people live, my friends. You just would not be able to afford to buy one of these houses along here. The ordinary average person. Some beautiful front gardens along here. Beautiful. So Belvedere Rugby Football Club is in here. Look, old Belvedere Rugby Football Club. So it's all that kind of, you know what I mean? Middle class, middle class, middle class. You might think I'm discriminating, but I'm not. I'm, you know the way it just is. It is what it is. It's like there's a whole group of people 
in their own lives seem to live in a, in a parallel universe than the rest of us, if you know what I mean. I mean, look at these houses across the road here. Like, some of these houses here would, would probably go for over a million euros, you know what I mean? Here's Ang Anglesey Mews, look, gated. Community in there. It's the street with all the, the BMWs and the Audis and the Range Rovers and the odd Porsche Carrera. All over here, my friends. Simmons Court Avenue here. So there's even a cricket club here, Merrion Cricket Club. They have it all over here, my friends. They have it all over here. Lovely looking, isn't it? Love the porch. Yeah, so in here, you see RDS, the Royal Dublin Society, right? So just over there is where they have the horse show, Dublin horse show every year, right? Just in there. And they also hold, they've, hold, they've held uh, open air concerts in there, right? And I've actually seen, um, I've seen a few concerts in there. I've seen Tina Turner there, way back in the, I think it was the 80s or early 90s in there. And I've seen um, the best live concert i ever seen in my entire life in there was from um, the Eagles when uh, Glenn Frey was alive. Fantastic. Best live band i ever seen in my life. As regards even their vocals was just absolutely out of this world, out of this world. Yeah, so, um, and then there's, they have, a, they have an, an indoor arena here as well. And I seen Tina Turner in the indoor arena here in the RDS. And uh, entertain, enter, entertainment wise, you got value for money there. She was brilliant, you know, full of energy. The two women in that house there are American, can hear their accents. So maybe they bought that two-story house in the corner there. Hairbird Cottages. It's a lovely area along here, I have to say. Now I'm back walking along the Dodder River. And there's another heron out there, look. Hello, heron. How are you doing? Did you catch any fish today? Are you still hungry? Cool the way you can stand like a statue there and not even move. Amazing, my friend. Well, I haven't got time to stand here all day talking to you. I, I hope, you, hope you got a fish. I hope you did. Hope you're not gonna be hungry. Hello, ducks. Are you enjoying yourself here in the sunshine along the river Dodder? Are you local ducks? Yeah? I use um, dub ducks from Dublin. Do you speak with a Dublin accent? Do you quack with a Dublin accent? Do you, do you, do you say, oh, I'm from Bleeding Dublin? Yeah? Okay, I'll see you, bye. More apartments, my friends, along the daughter here on the south side, over by the RDS towards Lansdowne Road. I certainly wouldn't be able to afford to live over here, unless I won the lottery, <laughs> which is not going to happen, my friends. Every time I buy a ticket and I check it, I check the, the lottery, and I don't win. I go ballistic. <laughs> I squash up the ticket and I throw it in the trash. That's a real American saying there, isn't it? The trash. But over here where you say in the bin. Yeah, they get really annoyed. Right, people, I could cheat here and go up onto the Lansdowne Road uh, Dart Station here and get a train back to Connolly Station. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep on walking and um, 
walk past Lansdowne Road here and continue to where this river goes into the River Liffey at the Docklands, at Grand Canal Dock. So we'll just keep going, my friends. Okay, so stay tuned, stay tuned. We're nearly there. Right, and just after passing, an Irish man and an Irish woman, and I said, hello? And he looked at me as if to say, how dare you say hello to me? Ah, oh. now nobody has to say hello, but hello is a nice thing to say, isn't it? No, they, they wouldn't say hello. Fucking hell, my friends. Arseholes. Everybody says an arsehole if, if they don't, you know, do what I want them to do. Anyway, look, here is Lansdowne Road. Football and rugby stadium right here, look. Can you see that, my friends? That's it there. Modern state-of-the-art stadium. So the residents along here, as you can see, they have a nice little park, skinny long park here. I'm just trying to see the name of, of the street over there. And um, there's a sign, let me just see, can I read this from here? It's called, um, I'll go down a bit here, have a look. See the way the trees are kind of leaning in? <laughs> you see, the main wind we get here in Ireland is westerly. So, so okay, so that one's called Aikenhead Terrace along here. But it's nice, isn't it? They can come out from their houses here in Dublin City and have this park, they could just sit down in if they want to. Very nice. Here's a father and son, they're playing cricket. Lovely to see, isn't it? Oh, good shot there. Well done. Cool, isn't it? Just over here, my friends, is Shelbourne Park. This is the creme of the creme stadium if you're into greyhound racing, you know? This would be like the Wembley Stadium for greyhound, greyhound racing, just over there, Shelbourne Park. Um, I'm just not into gambling of any kind, my friends, but anyway, it's, it's um, yeah, like champion greyhound dogs, the top of the top race over here in Shelbourne Park. You'll always see graffiti along here, my friends. <clears throat> now that there's not bad, that's skull, right? But the rest of it down here is shit. I mean, look at this. Well, that's, that's not too bad. But all this crack here, all this is, this kind of graffiti is crap. Absolutely crap. Now look, see straight ahead here. See the boat there going to here? So, I'll just hang on and I'll get up here a bit and I'll show you the end of the daughter up here, okay? Look at this shit, my friends. Crap. That is not art, that's shit. Right, people. So this is where the River Dodder finally ends. See over here? I don't know if you can see the GoPro, there's swans over there. Well, just over there is the River Liffey. So the River Dodder ends here, goes into the Liffey, turns right around the corner here, into Dublin Bay, and out into the Irish Sea. Now, I don't know how long the River Dodder is. I'll check it up on Google, and I'll pull it up on the video. Like, you see this building here, my friends, is? Now, I could be wrong on this, right? But, I think in here, so it was the building where you two used to come and jam and practice and make music somewhere along here. It could be in there. Look, see, look, Poland. You two 
blah blah forever you too forever on your knee is something if there is a light don't let it go out Bono I love you yeah so I don't know if that's the actual building where they where they used to jam and play before they became famous I don't know if they ever made any albums in there I've no idea but somewhere around here anyway look here's another one for under song look beautiful day one love one life thank you you two live in Paris come back sometime beautiful day bless you you see yeah so I think I think it was in that building there for anybody into you too well I have to get a cup of tea my friends a cup of tea essential Hi people, I just stopped here in Cafe Nero in Grand Canal Dock and as you see there I got a, I think it's a, what do you say, pistachio chocolate something, cake slice and I got a latte, not a tea, a latte, one shot latte, so stay tuned and uh, after this I'm going to go over as far as Grand Canal Dock and get the dart train back to Connolly Station, okay, cheers my friends. Right, people, uh, I'm getting my toward means of public transport today from Grand Canal Dock here back to Connolly Station. I'm getting the, um, the Dart electric train. So I came up on the diesel train to Dublin, used the Lewis Light Rail out to Milltown, and now I'm using the Dart electric train back to Connolly Station. Um, Right people, I hope you've enjoyed that little wander around Dublin and the walk along the River Dodder and back in towards the Grand Canal Dock area of Dublin and um, yeah, I don't know about you but I enjoyed it so um, stay tuned my friends as usual my friends, I've no idea where my next video is going to come from but it's going to come from somewhere so stay tuned my friends, stay tuned Press the notification bell to know when my next video will be uploaded. The Rob is up on a Sunday around 5 p.m. or any time after 5 p.m. And press the like button if you like the video. And also, if you're new to the channel, press the subscri subscribe. It's free, right? So until next time, my friends, take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.